Aries welcome to my channel being you now thank you so much for being with me here today today I am doing your daily reading feels like I haven't done your daily reading in a very long time just playing catch up with your monthlies your weeklies your um, money career finance and all the things so they're all up on the channel for the month of September so you can go and check it out if you're new welcome I'm a triple Aries if we haven't met lovely to have you here if this doesn't resonate head over to the videos tab there might be some you'll find yourself somewhere in there these are collective readings not a one-to-one -one read for personal reading it's the first link in the description box all right I'm working with one of my favorite decks this just gives me like buttery 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 vibes so um lots of messages want to come out let's just see what your opening energy is and we'll build on from there hangman it is so interesting today i have been seeing hangman popping up here there and everywhere it's um it's it has been interesting the hangman has been showing up i'll just there is a big message of suspense suspension yeah that's the word suspension what i'm that that is coming up as a theme today and um i'm i'm not just saying that this does not apply to you but i feel like because i've seen the hangman it's almost like a confirmation and that the hangman card had to show up in one of the readings that i'm doing today and yours happens to be one of them so i feel like a lot of this is to do with suspension if you are feeling suspended right now um or feeling in this lull situation where nothing is it feels like nothing is going forward nothing is going backward what spirit really wants there's a message there for you that what spirit really wants you to know is that it's okay to be in suspension mode sometimes we're so deep, so hard on ourselves that we just want 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 we want this we want that as soon as one want gets fulfilled we're on to the next thing we want something else and that's just human nature and this suspension mode spirit is actually inviting you to just hang in there <laughs> I normally don't say this and particularly for Aries I you know and some of you this could have been you know um, I'm seeing 12 so it could have been a period of 12 days I'm getting more a sense of 12 days I normally don't have you know share too much about time frames because hey in spirit world there is no time but um, I am planning on bringing actually more different styles of reading which will incorporate more time but anyway that's a separate matter but this hangman is could be 12 days or 12 weeks for some of you I feel like you are emerging out. You are emerging out. You're freeing yourself. It's almost like you have control and you will be freeing yourself from the suspension mode. But until you are ready, you are kind of holding on tightly. <laughs> and I didn't even notice that, but that's kind of what's happening here, right? Okay. So what else we have for Aries? Yep. King of Wands. It's, it's almost like you want to get out of this to be that. But you also know, I feel like this is for my Aries, um, the Hangman and the King of Wands. The King of Wands is showing up again a lot in Aries readings. I do your readings pretty much daily, so I know the Aries vibe. I'm a triple Aries if you didn't know. Hi, nice to meet you. So, yeah, that's a lot of Emperor energy, hey? Emperor times three. <laughs> Go figure. Um, so these two cards right next to each other, to me, you know that to be... This is for my Aries that... Uh, on this growth ascension journey you know that to be a king of wands a true king of wands to be that visionary the go-getter the leader the change maker the mover shaker maverick you know to be the king true king of wands you you need energy and i feel like this here this combination is you conserving your energy so when it's all systems go you have fuel in your tank to go for the things that you want i don't make it up i don't make it up so this right here very loud clear message for my aries that you are completing you are ready to emerge if you have been in this lull if you have been feeling like you know you've been in a bit of a hibernation mode look at the gold look at all this gold i love 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 that's why i love this deck all the bling all the bling and sparkles you can never have too many too much bling and sparkles do you agree i am all about the blings Anyway, so the world and the hangman and the king of wands in the middle is telling me that you are coming out of this period of suspension. All systems go. That's what's happening energetically. You've conserved your energy and now you feel good. You feel good. You've completed a major cycle. For some of you, this could have been to do with work. Maybe you had a period of time off. For others of you, maybe you, um, you know, completed cycles 
uh, on the relationship front and you just were you just doing you the hangman is you weren't dating you weren't you know you were just pouring all that love back into you so that you can come and come back in that energy and when you're ready to date to meet someone you are fully present you're not sort of just like going on dates mindlessly just to tick it off that oh yeah i've been on dates i'm dating and i'm seeing people but not really fully in being there i feel like you're doing things with a lot of intention and love and care very deep message almost feels like a personal reading let me know in comments all right so what's coming towards you i feel like and also for those of my aries that are single i know so many of you say to me i'm not looking for love as my channel is growing evolving new people are coming on People are opening up their hearts to love. There's nothing wrong. You, If you want to be single, great. If you want to find someone for love, great. You know, for me, I'm just sharing the message. But I also feel this is actually a very, this is not a new cycle. Although this is a daily reading, this to me seems like you have really taken your time. You've really poured that love and self-care into yourself. You've really come to know who you are. And I'm really picking up a beautiful energy here. So congratulations on all of you that have been doing inner work, healing work, mindset work, because that's what really, that's how you really complete and close out cycles. That's how you truly free yourself. So if you're looking for chakra balancing, energy healing, cord cutting, all that is in the description box. Okay. Ah, this is why I did the whole spiel on love and romance and healing because guess what showed up lovers aries for those of you looking for love could be a gemini could be i feel like water sign it's really weird i'm picking up pisces so gemini pisces is spirit is showing me pisces i don't know aries do you have any experience dating pisces what is that like i've never dated a Pis pisces my dad bless his heart he's no longer on this planet anymore but um he he was pisces or he yeah he was pisces and we really got along so but yeah i don't know from a romantic perspective oh my goodness aries if there was a love reading that i've ever done for you this would have to be it like page of cups and the lovers are you kidding me are you kidding me so there is definitely an offer of love hey for those of you aries not looking for love maybe this is not your reading uh or maybe after listening to this reading you might open yourself up or maybe this is the prompt or the confirmation or that little nudge you needed to open your heart up for those of you that don't want love this could be to do with um business part partnership or your passion okay so you take what resonates don't shoot the messenger the artist as i said that the artist showed up so definitely for somebody here this is to do with your passion this is to do with you sharing your art sharing your craft and for others of you if you're looking for love i feel like you will meet this person when you're doing something that you love so this might take you by surprise i feel like it's going to literally this offer is going to take you by surprise it's almost like you're not even looking for love you just do you are you being you doing you and guess what happens that's the best way to attract love that's the best way to attract job that's the best way to attract money you just you be you and the universe opens up. The heavens opens up with blessings just pouring your way. Why do you think my channel is called Being You Now? Because when you are in your full power, full glory, you become unstoppable. You become a force to be reckoned with. You become the conduit, the doorway, the gateway, the portal of blessings. Because you are an open channel. Opening your heart, your mind, your bank account to receive. That's how it works. All right. So... That was a little bit of a um, free um, coaching session for somebody that needed it. <laughs> yeah, my, my readings are way more than readings. You get a lot of extra value because I'm also a qualified trainer in neurolinguistic programming and a few other modalities, but I'm not going to get into that right now. Here we go. The sun could be a Leo, Aries. Could be a Leo that you are... Let me know your experience with Leos. Oh, I don't know if I want to go there right now. But anyway, the sun card is Leo. This, whatever this is, whether it's love or whether it's your passion, this is going to bring you so much happiness and joy. I mean, it's about embracing the warmth, being in your element, just feeling free. I feel this sense of freedom. That's 
feeling a sense of freedom, loving it. I feel like also for others of you, this is going to, so say for example, I'm just going to use, I'm going to switch gears from the love scenario to um, say your passion, right? With the Three of Pentacles and the Sun card, this to me is saying that it's going to open up whole new connections, friendships that you didn't even know existed or were available to you. I really feel this whole scenario, you following your heart, you being you, you opening yourself up. It's just going to open up friendships, connections, opportunities, abundance. I mean, Three of Pentacles is also abundance. For those of you looking for love, that's how you're also going to meet someone. So if you if you want... You, you always wonder, being you now, being you now, tell me how I'm going to meet this person. I'm single. I'm looking for love. Well, go do the things you love. And guess what? That's how you're going to meet them. Okay. Yep. We started off with the world and we're finishing off with the Ten of Swords. You've closed out all cycles. Spirit wants you to make peace. If you, if you want to attract this and if you're still feeling blocked, if you're still feeling at loss of why you're not able to you know, sometimes I get in comments, oh, I've been doing all this work. And the, I love the comments that go something like this. I w I'm so positive. I'm on the positive, you know, positive mindset. And then as you read the comments, as you go along, it's all negative. Oh, but nothing is working for me. You know, you keep saying that this is going to come. When is it going to come? It's all, it's like, you are not really, you, you, you're not ready. <laughs> you need to do healing work. You need to do chakra balancing work. You need to do energy work. You need to do mindset work because... You're saying you're doing positive, but your comments are just suggesting you're not. It's very clear, you know, and that's what this is. It's your, this is your guidance. So what spirit is saying is to truly end a cycle, particularly if you keep perpetuating or finding yourself on the hamster, because that's the thing with the hangman. You can become comfortable and complacent and be like swinging in no man's land from here to there. And you can keep swinging and keep swinging and keep swinging. What happens? Time. In the 3D world, because I often get, you know, when, when, the when question, people love the when. Why is it taking so long? I've been single for three years. I've been single for 11 years. Will I meet my soulmate? Well, if you're going to be in limbo land, you haven't really been made peace. That's why you haven't closed out all cycles. So whether you know or at some level there is an imbalance and chakra balancing can definitely help with that. There could be an imbalance. Maybe your heart is too closed out. Maybe you lost all confidence with whatever you went through, whether it's romantically or whether it's in a job situation. You lost your confidence. Your solar plexus is all blocked up. Um, it's so interesting. I don't normally bring this. If you've been watching me for a while, I don't normally. This is my personal deck. Um, well, all of these are my personal decks, but I, I work with these decks myself. I don't really bring it out too much on the channel for whatever reason. Um, but I just don't. And today, spirit was like chakra mindset that's the one you need to work with so i will be pulling cards from here but this is what i mean these endings can only happen when you truly energetically make peace that's how that's why we have cord cutting rituals that's why we have mindset work because if you are struggling to trust if you are struggling if you are with fear and doubt what's happening your crown chakra and third eye is completely blocked you can't listen to your intuition you are, you know, anytime you're like, oh, what's in it for them? What's in it for them? You overanalyze. You keep telling yourself the same story. No progress, no movement, no momentum. All right. Let's get you some chakra cards for my Aries that are watching me, my subscribers. My subscribers, message for them, spirit. Anything else? Anything else? I feel like there's only one. Love this beautiful card. It says intuitive. It's number... 45 let me just bring out that message i feel like there's one more i need to pull out but i'm quickly going to read out the meaning for this for those of you that need it because it also has a mantra so i want you to have the mantra which is the affirmation feel yourself floating through a galaxy of receptors ah uh, yeah watch the reading this is quite interesting that this is starting off like that with every sensation and every interaction you have open yourself up to all that is unsaid and all that is yet to come allow your intuition to guide you don't allow yourself to be held back by trying to rationalize everything that is going on for you right now. Crown Chakra. This is a time for you to be guided by your inner knowing. The inner knowing is your sacral. You have something that you have been trying to make a decision about and this is a time to trust your intuition. 
So your mantra is my intuition guides me well. I let go of self-doubt and trust my instincts. So this is why chakra, the chakra balancing work, this is how it works, right? You, when you have blocked crown chakra, which is your mind, that's where the hamster is going on repeat. That's how you know when you're overanalyzing in the analytical, logical, and you can't think clearly, that's, that's an indication that, that needs to be cleared up. And that's why you then don't have enough ability to connect it to your gut instinct, which is your sacral, okay? So that's why two chakras are blocked in this situation, which we need to work on. Okay, is there any other message? Any other? I feel like there's one more that wants to come out. Yep, there is. I love this message. I feel like someone needs to hear this. It is safe. It's safe for you to let go. I'm just going to say it. it's safe for you to let go. Because sometimes the reason why we hold on to things is not even because we want to hold on to it. We are too afraid of change. And oftentimes, we, because it's easier to hold on to what you've already been through than to embark on a new journey and face the change. Change can be scary. I mean, because it's you haven't experienced it, right? So number 38 could be of significance. I'm just going to pop that there because this book is a little bit tricky to um, flick through. It is safe for you to speak up and say what it is you have been holding back. When you speak from your heart, your words and actions are empowering and insightful. At times, you may have kept silent due to fears of drawing attention to yourself or speaking against norms. Let go of your self-imposed limitations and know that you are, it is safe to communicate and all, has, all that has been unsaid. When your intentions are pure, you will be guided and protected in all of your communication. This right here is to do with your throat chakra and your mind. So when you have self-imposed limitations, that's in your mind, that's in your head. You keep saying, I can't say this, I can't do this, you know, I can't, I can't, I can't. And then slowly you're suppressing your communication. So somebody here, it's safe for you to communicate. Just know that. And um, the, so in this situation, we need to open up your crown chakra and your throat chakra. Because what's happening here in this case is you are having the same conversation over and over and over with yourself but it's not resolving anything. And that's why you then, you know, your mind is overactive because it wants to express release, but it's not. So your mantra, it is safe for me to communicate my thoughts and desires. See, thoughts, can't make it up, baby. When I come from a place of love and truth, the divine walks beside me. Absolutely, amen. So if you desire chakra balancing, energy healing, cord cutting, or a personal reading, all information is in the description box. And Aries, remember the power that is you by being you know. I will see you next time.